Hello, my dear students at home. Hope you are doing pretty fine with our parents at home and you enjoy yourself. And hope you are reading your book as well. I'm happy to meet you back online. My name is Rudy Thomas, your social studies teacher. Today, we are going to examine uh, a certain topic in our social studies. That is for week five. The topic there in that we are going to examine the science and technology in traditional society and in modern society and the importance in the future of Nigeria. This work is meant for JSS2. I want to all uh, take your part, take your pen, take your book and follow me. What I want you to learn in this, that is learning objective, is at the end of the lesson, students will be able to explain the meaning of science and technology in traditional and modern society and the importance in the future of Nigeria. Hmm. We want to know the origin, we want to know about the meaning of science and technology. I just hearing about science and technology, this and that. But in traditional and in modern societies, and the importance in Nigeria future. This is what we are going to examine today. So in this, under this level of objective, I want you to bear it in mind that Nigeria has developed, your world has developed through the help of science and technology. What are the origins of science and technology? Before the coming of Europeans, science and technology had been in existence, even though it was not developed. Man has idea of science and technology to be able to recognize tools, plants, and how to cultivate land. You know how to use herbs for medicine purposes. That is the origin of science and technology. Let me tell you something. Our forefathers, they have this idea. They have this idea. They have been practicing it. This idea of science and technology are being recognized through foods, through plants, and how to cultivate land. And they know how to use herbs, like all these herbs. When so all the sick. They go to the forest, gather herbs, and cook and make use for the ones so that they will be okay. Science and technology. Man has idea of science and technology to be able to recognize foods, plants, and how to cultivate the land and bring forth our food, the food that we eat, and to know how to use herbs to cure medicine and to cure diseases, to cure sicknesses. So they know much about medicinal purposes for the sick one that are sick. So science and technology has developed the country tremendously. It has developed the country tremendously. Now, in modern society, we have modern society, we have uh, civilized, I mean, we have traditional society. In modern societies, Modern society have developed because of the rules of science and technology. It has developed because of the role of science and technology. Man, right? Man invented the heart of reading and writing. It's through the help of science and technology. We know how to read, we know how to write, we know how to write. Before our forefathers, they do, they do not know how to write. They are all inspiring. The first occupation so far in the world is funny. You know how to cultivate the land, plants, seeds, which later grow for human consumption. But you can see that uh, this act of reading and writing is, uh, is one of the, the civilizations we brought to Africa through the white men who brought technology, science and technology. They are these white people, they are brought together. Before, 
our quarrels, our forefathers were local, primitive. Sorry to say, very primitive. That is, they don't know the use of all these But All the materials needed have been on ground before the uh, introduction of science and technology. Then, secondly, abstract knowledge was studied regarding to what we call magic and sacred in the traditional societies. This is huge in solving human practical problems. It is also helps to gain control over nature, like scientific research. Like scientific research, I'm talking about, look at IITA at the bottom, where they use cassava to, 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 make, to make bread. Look at corn. They use corn to make complex. It is through the science and technology. Before, did our parents know how to do this? So, our parents, our forefathers, have been, uh, been in existence for years, for thousands of years before the coming of these uh, um, uh, this, this, uh, white people that brought civilization to them in Africa. When we are talking about abstract knowledge, which was taught, studied regarding to what we call magic. And some people don't think it's the magic. It's not the magic. Before, during our own forefathers, nobody can walk on water. Apart from the one that Jesus Christ, they come to Peter to walk, to test his way and walk on, on water. But now, we can now travel by sea, by using the very fly boat. Ship and other things. It's through the infection, the, 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 the white men that infected all these things of virus in Nigeria. That is, science and technology help us to solve our practical problem and to gain control over nature. It also helps to produce more foods by sowing with the use of fertilizers. We can be able to produce foods, more foods, by the use of that. Okay, thousands of years ago. Does our father know how to produce, how to make? Do they know what they call fertilizer? Let me tell you, people are living on chemical. Fertilizer is a chemical that makes plants to grow, that makes crops to grow. So, it has, it's the true the invention of science and technology that help us to grow our foods, our crops, by using what? By using fertilizer. And fertilizers are used to grow our crops in the farm. So it helps us in many, in many ways. Now, what are the importance of science and technology? One. Science and technology has improved agriculture. That's one. Two, the machinery, all this uh, kind, not unlike a uh, manual, like by using a cutlass or hoe to find the land. But we can now use a tractor to work on the ground and to work on the farm. We can use harvester machines. It's through the help of science and technology. That is one. Secondly, it helps to improve health care delivery. <laughs> okay, for example, look at all the medicine being produced from the lab. Where do they produce this then? It's from the lab. It's through the, um, the science and technology. So that one helps to save life. Then it helps to improve communication system. We can communicate to our relations in abroad, in another country, in another state. Or within by using your handphone, by using your, 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 your computer, and many more. It also helps to improve transportation, like ship, either by road, vehicles, different kinds of vehicles, by plane, jets, all these kinds of ships, uh, this kind of planes, aircraft. It's through what? It's through the science and technology. It helps in the area of transportation 
so that we can move our goods and properties from one place to another. People travel by train. They bring their goods from another country to Nigeria. Look at the oil, the crude oil. We move our transport our, our crude oil from Nigeria to Rovers to refine because we don't have good refinery in Nigeria. <laughs> You've not because of science and technology. Now, see, this crude oil has been in Nigeria for years, for even millions, millions of years before white cars. So when white people came, they now discover that ah, we have resources in Nigeria. So they make diplomatic relationship with us, so we are now friends. So they now gain access to make use of our resources, both of crude and for our life. <laughs> Nigeria is a well pledged country. So, but we don't know how to make use of this. That is why we, 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 we take our crude oil to approach, to be refined, and bring them back after they might have taken their, 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 their discount, their percentage from it. Look at science and technology. Like I said, in the area of agriculture, the way we take the land and plant our foods, our crops for human survival, if not because of the help of science and technology, can we do that? We won't be able to do that. So science and technology has already helped us in many areas, in many ways in the whole world. It's the one that helps us to know what we are doing in the society. To know what we are doing in the whole world, to know to it helps us to gain access to other countries. It's through the science and technology that we, we have clothes to wear. Look at the clothes I'm wearing. Look at the one, the design. It's because of the science and technology. Look at cotton. This cloth is made of cotton, it's through the help of science and technology. So, my dear student. These are the importance of science and technology, even in Nigeria future. In Nigeria future, in the future of Nigeria. Note that science and technology is well positioned and good and develop our country. So, therefore, my dear children, I will stop here. I want you to read your book, to converse with your studies. And by the grace of God, I hope to see you next week. By next week, by the power of God, 